This is such a, a natural wonderland. I mean, we've seen so many really interesting things here and it's, it's so close to an urban area and yet it's not unusual to come out and see beaver, otters, there are three bald eagle nests on the property. There's uh, red-tailed hawk nests. You know, the swans and all these hundreds of other waterfowl that come here to spend the, the night or part of the day as well, feeding and resting, uh, they're telling us that this is a very important place. We need to pay attention to that. And why do we protect it? We protect it because it's a wonderful place for waterfowl. And it's also a wonderful place for people to have these experiences in nature, where they can see that the wild world around us is still very much alive and begin to sense some form of, uh, of obligation to help protect these places that these, that these animals need very badly. First, of course, it was about protecting the wetland and the waterfowl and, the, and for the swans, but then over time, we just discovered so much else here. The big grandmother cottonwoods with the nesting bald eagles and the heron rookery. And, you know, and then when we discovered the property that we called the Bell property, that deep wooded gorge there, it feels like you're going back 50 years in time when you go down in there. You would never imagine that you're right there at College Way and Highway 9, you know, when you go down into that gorge. It flows out of that gorge into this vast floodplain and it carves this, you know, this ancient river oxbow here that forms this big wetland. You know, it's just, it's an incredibly magical, diverse place, so close to the city core. This conservation area is going to experience immense pressure. Um, there will be homes built right up to the edge of everything that is protected out here. Um, and us owning the land here and protecting it and keeping it from being developed means that it's going to remain open space into the future to benefit everyone living nearby. Because Barney Lake is on the edge of Mount Vernon, we have to be really creative because we know we can't stop development. Cities and towns are going to grow around Barney Lake. So how do we save such a special wildlife sanctuary while people understand it, can love it, and can help save it for future generations as we grow around it? And we think we can do it. We're experts in taking care of conservation areas and making sure that we're protecting wildlife habitat and saving places for wildlife across the county. We also know that people need to get outside and people will get outside whether we plan for it or not. And so it's important when you're thinking about how to manage a property to make sure that you're building opportunities for folks to get out in ways that don't threaten wildlife habitat or sensitive areas, and that's what we do. We've been working on Barney Lake and many other projects for 30 years. What's going to happen in the next 30 years, 60 years, 90 years? What's going to become of this place and all those others? And the biggest goal, of course, is to keep it at least like it is and not have it deteriorate. We hope to expand a lot of areas. It'd be really nice to develop more public access so more people can come down and enjoy this area and want to protect it. We have to think about what are the threats that are always present in a big wetland like this. There was a proposed dump site here by the county previous years. There's always runoff, chemicals, subdivisions and that will extend properties out in the marshland and each individual does something. More flooding could happen. So it's really good to have it protected. If you do it now, it's protected forever. Otherwise, every year somebody comes along with another plan and you just can't fight those. So if you own it and have control of it, it is protected. Barney Lake is one of the few and most extensive uh, in size of places that's still left of this kind of habitat. Uh, so it's exactly the kind of place that we need Skagit Land Trust to, to protect.